All right, Shalom. I want to again start this video by giving our praises on and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Racha, Kodash, the bondage to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Lord's elect. Uh, first and foremost, beginning with the 144,000. This is Aratiza from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with another quick video. All right, and uh, this video is going to be centered around um, reparations. All right, as you can see here. Um, I have it on the, on the um, screen. Basically, what inspired this video, we know that the um, so-called uh, presidential election is coming up in the next, uh, I guess, the next couple weeks or whatever. Uh, I think it's November fifth, where they're going to be, you know, people are going to be voting for the, you know, next so-called president. And uh, you know, I've just, I've just been watching a bunch of different clips, you know, different, uh, you know, panels and debates. You know, just checking, you know, just kind of just keeping an ear to it or whatever. And um, one of the topics that you see people in particular, Jake, talk about is reparations. So whether the, you know, whether the Democrats are going to, you know, sign some type of legislation or bill to give us reparations is Trump. You know, like, you know, that the whole topic of, rep of, you know, us, Jake, getting reparations from slavery, which is, um, you know, pretty much. You know, those of us who, who who have the understanding and those of us that believe in his word, we understand that reparations is truly not going to come until we in the kingdom. Now, if, if Esau does decide, right, which um, Esau is the biblical name for the so-called white man. If the white man or Esau decides to, you know, you know, toss Jake a couple dollars, that's not enough. All right. That's that's not enough to, you know, uh, fix the damage that this man has already done you know the only way to fix it is to put him in to put him into captivity and for have him and not only the so-called white man but the rest of the other nations that had a hand in bringing us down to you know essentially build up our kingdom just as they used us to build up theirs so that's the real reparations all right and i have the the um definition here from the edam online dictionary Okay, this is a reparations, a noun, late 14th century. Repair, act of mending. See that? So the only way to repair our people, well, first and foremost, the the uh, the the you know what has to be repaired first is our is our spirits. All right, our spirits, our minds. Because you look at that, the state of our people as a whole, our people are are, are broken. You know, <laughs> we're broken. We're uh, in a state of dysfunction. You know, Jake is just completely, completely lost, man. So the, so the Heavenly Father has to, uh, uh, you know, fix us, uh, you know, as far as uh, inwardly first. You know, and that's that's where you get the uh, new covenant. Where the Lord said he would basically write the laws in our inward parts. And another Israelite shall not teach another. We'll basically all be perfect. We'll be hardwired and programmed. To carry out righteousness, who won't ever sin or go against the law, that is commandments. So that's the that's the first part. But then is you know we're actually going to be you know, compensated physically. Where we're going to receive the spoils. We're going to receive the riches. All right, far beyond you know this American so-called fiat currency that Jake is you know seeking after. Oh, you know we want a million dollars. We want that's that that's not in no comparison. To what we're going to acquire in the world to come, man. So, it's reading on here. It says, uh, again, it says to repair, act of mending, also a man's compensation, recompense, satisfaction for injury. What is done to repair a wrong? Act, you know, and it goes on late Latin, uh, act of repairing, restoration. See that? So, that's, that's, that's not going to come here in america all right which america is uh biblically known as uh babylon the great as well as egypt and various other names and titles this is not our rest so in the micah the second chapter so yeah the, the lord will give us ease here and there so that we can just you know do what we have to do but we're not looking to to, to set up shop here all right i think that was the last video i did about Excuse me, how did the fashion of this world passes away? You know, this is just a temporary stop for our nation, for our people. 
but the world to come is when we're truly going to thrive. We're going to sit on thrones. We're going to have a, a, a total dominance and dominion over the earth. And the nations are going to be in captivity. So that's the real reparations that we're hoping for and waiting for. Right? We ain't looking to get a goddamn... Uh, uh, so we're not expecting nothing from Esau on this side, man. Now, if he decides, to, you know, like I said, toss Jake a little bone and get, I mean, whatever. But that's that still ain't that ain't it. You know, there's there's more that that that, that, that this man got to uh, uh you know pay for. All right, because he injured our. Like it says here, satisfaction for injury. He he uh injured our people. Matter of fact. Since I said um, injuries, let me get that real quick. In uh, was that Sirach ten? And we'll get the other scriptures. All right, Sirach ten, and uh, that would be verse eight. All right, this is uh, the book of Sirach, or please ask us in the pocket for chapter 10, verse 8. This is because of unrighteous dealings. All right, and this is how the so called white man rolls, man. Unrighteous dealings, you know, cutthroat, robbery, rape, murder, you know, lying. <laughs> that's, 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 that's this man's MO. It says because of unrighteous dealings, injuries. See that? Going back to the definition of, of reparations, this is a, a satisfaction for injury. So he really injured the whole earth, but in particular, the nation of Israel, which is so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. It says injuries and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. See that? So because he did these things, this is pretty much his, his whole rap sheet. The kingdom is going to be translated from him over to the children of Israel. Okay, pursuant to 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 9, where it says Esau, excuse me, is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So Esau's the kingdom, because currently he has the kingdom as of right now, right? He's the top ruling nation. But according to biblical pro uh, prophecy, his kingdom is going to fall, and then the kingdom of heaven, all right? Uh, uh, as far as the nation of Israel ruling, that's that's the that's the next kingdom that's going to arise according to prophecy. <clears throat> All right, so let's get the other scriptures here. All right, I think that was it. Um, yeah, that was the point. So yeah, let's go here. Isaiah sixty one and um, actually the the point the point is in verse four, but I, I got to start at the top. All right, and this is essentially what the uh, gospel is. All right, or oh, the uh, good news is Isaiah 61 and 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord, power, excuse me, is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. All right, and that's what we, we're doing, preaching good tidings or the good news to the meek, which the meek is another, I guess, title for the elect. All right, those that believe in Yahabashim Yahusha or the uh, uh, hopeful elect. All right, those who are lowly, those that are humble. All right, we're preaching the, the good news unto them, which is going to tell you what that good news is. All right, we, we read on. It says, He have sent me to bond up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. All right, these are this is talking about the Israelites. Okay, it says, verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. In the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn, right? Our people in the state of mourning, all right? And mainly due to the fact that the wicked is ruling. Pursuing the Proverbs 29 and 2, all right? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. But we're here to give our people comfort by telling them, like, look, this man is, <laughs> the wicked is about to be taken out real soon. We just got to hold firm and hold fast and just wait for the prophecies to play out. But there's there's hope or, or as they say, light at the end of the tunnel. All right. And it says, verse three, it says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. So you, so it, 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 it makes it clear who it's talking about. So you don't get stupid and try to 
uh, apply it to everyone. It just, just, just applies to everybody, white man, uh, all nations. No, it, it, it's making a, a, a making a clear distinction who was who was addressed to. More than Zion, Zion is the name for the Israelites. Okay, the uh, monument. This is to give unto them beauty for ashes, and oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that He might be glorified. This is part of reparations. The Lord restore. God, I think it says to um restoration, right? I think that's one of the yeah. There you go, right there. Restoration. Matter of fact, let's go into that a little deeper. All right. Um, restoration. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah. The act of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. See? And the, of course, one of the definitions is to, is to repair. Reparations. So a return of a hereditary monarch to a throne. A head of state to government or a regime to power. And that's what the Lord's about to do. He's about to restore the nation of Israel back into their uh back into the power seat, so to speak. Because we were supposed to rule the earth in righteousness, and the nation is all supposed to be subject unto us, but you know, because of uh you know us going off, all right, we were slapped with curses, man. All right, Deuteronomy 28 verses uh 1 to 15. <laughs> Yeah, so the Lord's gonna is gonna beautify us because right now we're in a low state. But the Lord's gonna is gonna basically um raise us up. All right, now here's the point. Well, well, well really the whole past verses was the point, but still, all right, verse four. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities. And desolations of many generations. See that? That's gonna be in the kingdom. We're gonna we're gonna build up the old the old ruins. All right, the kingdom is gonna be repaired, the kingdom is gonna be restored, and it's gonna be glorious. All right, and that's the, again the, the reason I brought that out to the word right there. All right, and it says, and they shall repair the waste city. So that's the real reparations right there. All right, it's gonna come. In the kingdom of heaven and then we go to verse 5 it says and strangers shall feed excuse me and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers so the builders gonna come by the hand of the nations all right the other nations all right so this, this, this is gonna be a switch just as we was held captive and, and forced to build and, and, and forced to labor here in America for hundreds of years the nations are gonna have to do the same thing for a period of a thousand years. So in Revelation 20, the first dominion. All right. They're going to have to work. Okay. Payback. Because I believe I believe one of the definitions for reparations was recompense. And we know the scriptures say that what he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Revelation 13, chapter 9 and 10 verse. So this is just. All right. It says, but ye shall be. Name the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. You shall eat of the riches of the Gentiles. See that? That's that. There you go. There's again the reparations. We should eat of the riches of the Gentiles. Gentiles of the other nations. In this in this instance, it says, "And in their glory shall ye boast yourselves." All right. So yeah, the Lord's going to allow us to get the spoils. We're gonna we're gonna. Another scripture says that we shall suck uh, suck the breasts of kings. Also meaning that what we're gonna we're gonna reap. Of their resources, because really the earth is ours anyway. So in the second Ezra six and fifty four on down, we said the earth was made for our sakes. It's just that the heathens having it in their possession currently. All right. <clears throat> so um, that was yeah. You can keep going on that, but that was the point. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, Jeremiah. Okay, yeah, that was the other one. Uh, Jeremiah 30. We're going to start at verse 16. Excuse me. And it says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. See that? See, so everybody that did us wrong, anybody that came against our nation, that came against our people, we know that the so-called white man is at the top of the list. 
All right. He's going he's going <laughs> he's going to go into captivity now. That's fair. That's just that's balance. All right. That's 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 basically just what it is. And it's no it's no escaping that you can't get away from that judgment. It's going to happen. OK, because if not, that would make the most high unjust. It says, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. See that? Yeah, we know that other nations preyed on us. They spoiled us. You know, so they, the Most High is going, is, going, is going to flip it around this time. All right. All right. And then reading on verse 17, it says, for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. See, so that's good. again going to the uh, spiritual reparations, spiritually. Yet physically, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll reap uh, riches and, 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 you know, uh, you know, different things like that slaves, wealth, land, power, and all that. But the restoration is going to start inwardly, too. All right, well, first, I. First, I should say rather, okay, when we when we change from these mortal bodies and we we, you know, we you know, finally healed, man. Because right now we we what we're sick, we're broken. As I mentioned earlier, we're in a state of mourning, so the Lord's going to take all of that away. All right, um, and then of course we read on. All right, the title is this portion of the chapter: Restoration of Jacob. All right, and I'll just read a little bit of it. It says, "Thus saith the Lord: Behold, I will bring again." Captivity in Jacob's tents have mercy on his dwelling places and the city shall be builded upon her own heat and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. All right. So the Lord's going to raise us up. He's going to end our captivity. And again, as I think it said, when the definition for restoration was to basically, um, how's it, how is it worded? Slock it. Uh, yeah, this definition here, the second definition is the return of hereditary monarch to a throne, a head of state to a government or regime to power. The Lord's going to put the regime, the right regime in power, which is the nation of Israel. All right. So that's part of the restoration. It says, and out of them shall proceed things given in the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them. And they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. See that? Who oppressed us here in America? The, the so called white man, Esau. All right? And even in, in the history, past history, the other nations, Moab, Ham, Ishmael, all the nations are, 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 are guilty, man. So the Lord's gonna, is gonna, is gonna, uh, it's gonna it's gonna um punish him. It says and all their nobles, verse 21, shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that enraged his heart to approach unto me, saith the Lord, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power, which the governor referring to our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. Well, the scripture says that the uh, what it says, the government shall be on his shoulders. All right. And uh, what's that? Matthew two and six. It says that that from thee shall come a governor shall rule my people Israel. All right. Yeah. So that's talking about our Lord Yahweh Shah. He's going to be the governor that's going to rule in other righteousness and the rest of the one hundred forty four thousand uh, under him. All right. And it says. Uh, I just finished it off verse 23. It says, Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked, which the whirlwind, that's going to the um, so called UFOs or the chariots. All right. And it says, it shall, it shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. Who's the head of the wicked? Esau. All right. In particular, the, the elites of Esau. All right. And it says, uh, 24, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return. Until he have done it, and until he have performed the intents of his heart in the latter days, ye shall consider it. All right, we're in the latter days right now. All these things are gonna transpire and manifest, man. All right, so it's coming. 
we just gotta be patient. All right, this last one I got, right? Malachi chapter four. All right, the point is in two, but I'll just start at the, at the first verse. All right, Malachi four, verse one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that the wickedly shall be stubble. This is what it's referring to is the day that the that the, the World War Three has officially uh uh um uh, I guess launched for for lack of a better word. It's, it's happening now. It's the, 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 the stage is being set, but that day is gonna come where these nations are gonna launch missiles on America. And other certain parts of the world gonna get hit with missiles, in particular the land of Israel. All right, those are two lands, all right, America and the land of Israel that's gonna be totally uh, that's going to be totally destroyed from coast to coast, but the only difference is that the land of Israel is going to be uh, uh, built back up. Or as we read in the, in the prior prior scriptures, which says that the, they should they should repair the waste cities and all of that. That's talking about the land of Israel, but America is going to forever be a, a, a um, barren land. All right, so this day is approaching. It says, "And reading on, it says, in the day that cometh shall burn them up." saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right? The thermonuclear destruction from the, from the uh, nuclear uh, missiles. Verse 2, it says, But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing his wing. Who's the son of righteousness? That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Alright? And notice how it says, Unto you that fear my name. Showing that the name of the Lord is 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 is, is, is gravely important, man. Alright? Got the heavenly father name, Yahweh. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai. And we fear those names. But Yahweh Shai is going to come with what he it says, healing in his wings, man. When he returned with, with the, uh, as it says in Revelation 1, he coming from clouds with the chariots. All right. That's when, that's when our people, starting with the elect, are going to be healed from all our uh, wounds and, and bruises. All right. It says, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in, excuse me, calves of the star. I mean, the Lord's going to give us. In abundance, he's going to bring us up on a level. All right, so there you go. That's the reparations that we're waiting on. This is verse three. It says, "You shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in a day that I shall do this." Said the Lord, "Hold." There you go. The recompense again, getting payback on our enemies, man. That's the only way you're going to fix the problem. All right, not by giving us a. a, a <laughs> a, 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 a million dollar check or however much money they was talking about giving Jake whatever that, that ain't it all right this 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 uh, got to go down in in a in a, in a um, violent manner all right which is all going to be you know according to the prophecies of the, of the of the holy scriptures you know so so yeah man I just want to you know just wanted to do a quick video on that like I said I was watching the you know Watch different clips and, and videos of people talking about different things as far as the you know politics and things of that nature going into the so-called election. Look, man, we ain't look, man. <laughs> the reparations, the real reparations in the kingdom when the Lord fully repairs our people. All right, uh, inwardly and then and of course outwardly, man. We're gonna reap the you know the the the, the benefits or the resources of the earth. And spoil these nations, you know. But yeah, you know, so with that, little woman, you was edified, giving her praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rachakadash. And little woman, to the next video, I'm going to say Shalom.